This YouTube feud has everybody talking, at least if you're in the YouTube fan world. Yes. It's been viewed over 33 million times. We're breaking it all down for you in case you haven't heard what's going on. So on Friday, James Charles, the 19-year-old YouTube beauty blogger, had around 16 million followers. Now that number has since dropped by 3 million, shows no signs of slowing down after fellow YouTuber and former mentor Tati Westbrook publicly cut ties with him in a lengthy YouTube video. So we'll get to that in just a moment. Take a look at this live stream that shows James and Tati's YouTube subscribers increasing and decreasing since Tati's video Friday night. I mean, man, that's crazy. That's pretty crazy. Who's three million followers? I mean, yeah, the, 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 making history with the amount of loss. The feud started back in April when James shared an ad via Insta Story for Sugar Bear hair supplements, a direct competitor for Tati's supplement brand, Halo Beauty. So that's where the, that is the initial rub, right? Yeah. Tati called him out in a tearful Insta story for being unsupportive, claimed she felt betrayed. Now James apologized on his Insta story without directly naming brands. Tati claims this is because James had a contract with Sugar Bear Hair Care, couldn't publicly talk about other brands. So Tati met James before he found fame and helped guide his career alongside her husband, also named James. Uh, she was let down by James' lack of loyalty. Tati claims though, that she had never asked him for a penny, nor asked him to help promote her brand. So lots of back and, lots of back and forth with this and kind of have to track along. Yeah, so Tati broke down the feud and her decision why she's no longer friends with James in a 43 minute YouTube video entitled Bye Sister. So James <laughs> Charles starts every video with Hi Sister, so a bit of a dig there. Yeah, she accuses James of spreading lies and trashing the beauty community. Take a look at Tati's video. It's been viewed over 33 million times. She expresses her frustrations and publicly cuts off her friendship with James Charles. Watch. I don't want to be friends with you. I don't want to be associated with you. And I need to say that very publicly so that this chapter can just be closed. How entitled do you have to be to think that you have it rough? You are a 19 year old millionaire. You do not get to wake up and, you know, stress out about how unfair your job is. Like, that's just so ridiculous to me. Wow. Not also, kind of funny when YouTube bloggers have feuds. It's like great quality, like a highly produced video. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, like it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> Best a lot of effort into it, yeah. yeah. So Tati later mentions that James allegedly has made inappropriate and overly sexualized comments about hooking up with a straight waiter, disregarding his se sexual orientation. She alleges that he's made comments like this on multiple occasions. Now, celebrities have been sounding off on this feud. In a since deleted tweet, fellow YouTube beauty blogger Jeffree Star claimed that his boyfriend Van James from their home since February, called James a danger to society. He says everything Tati said is 100% true. So people kind of coming out of the woodwork here. Some yeah. major fans and followers James Charles has uh, lost over the weekend included Miley Cyrus, Demi Lovato, Kylie Jenner. Can you imagine when you see Kylie Jenner unfollow you? That's got to sting. And I wonder how much that contributed. You know, everyone else kind of caught on to that. And oh, maybe yeah. That contributed to the huge windfall of lost followers. Now, James responded to Tati's claims in a tearful eight minute video, apologizing if he ever hurt her or anyone without directly commenting on her claims. So what do you think is going to happen here? It's one of these things where, you know, it reminds you cancel culture is real mm -hmm. and that, you know, it has a huge impact when your whole livelihood is dependent on sponsorships and views and all of that. So this could really be super traumatic. He still has a ton forward. of followers. Yeah, right. He should be able to recover, but just, it's just hard to I don't to know say. if we have a, a good precedent for like, how, how does someone in his position come back, right? Like what's what apology is sufficient? We've seen other YouTube stars kind of fall by the wayside, public scrutiny, yeah. have some missteps and it's been tough to recover. Because people will move on to the next one. Yeah, just, just like, well, forget about it. I don't want to yeah, waste my time. Yeah, a lot of drama.